Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this ISDT T6 Lite 600 watt 25 amp smart battery balance charger for 2 cell up to 6 cell batteries supplied courtesy of banggood.com for review now a while back I reviewed the T8 which can charge up to 8 cell batteries and now I'm going to review this one for up to 6 cell batteries now this supports Batco technology and although this technology doesn't seem to have taken off what it does do is give you additional information like battery temperature, manufacturer, manufacturer date, maximum charging rate, maximum discharge rate, the number of charges made, has three alarms, one for temperature if you go too high, one for charge rate exceeded and one for discharge rate exceeded and you need Batco batteries which basically have a little microchip in them that supply this additional information and one of the benefits of the Batco technology as well is that you can get your battery information by just plugging the main plug-in and not necessarily the balance plug because the information is stored on the microchip so it comes in this nice compact box we get some decals we get an instruction manual which is very basic it just tells you a few specifications and what the functions are get a screen protector and the ICT T6 lights which is nice and small and compact and basically fits in the palm of your hand and let's see how much it weighs weighs 296 grams so I'm not going to go into the BatGo technology much but this is a BatGo adapter which is a little bit different it's the same as a, an XT60 except that it has this little pin and then there's an additional wire that comes from the microchip on a BatGo battery that connects on to there like that now we have a look here the import port is an XT60 and this can take anything from 8 up to 32 volts and the biggest benefit of, of this is that you can actually charge other batteries by just plugging in a battery to the input port then on the other side this is the output port which is also an XT60 and if you've got other types of adapters you can get cables and extensions like this where the XT60 can plug into there into another XT60 into a JST or into a T Dean's connector or a Futabic connection and you can use different ones and if you want to charge multiple batteries you can also plug in a balance charging plate the balance plug goes into the balance plug connector here so if you plug any battery in with a balance plug 
you always start from this end and plug the negative into this side here so you can charge more batteries at once too so this is great and you can use it in the field to charge batteries you can also use it at home I've got an old laptop power adapter or you can use one that comes with a LCD screen and just put an XT60 connection onto the end now this one is has an output of just over 150 watts and can also plug it in and use it at home with a power adapter you can get power adapters up to about 600 watts for this and I'll put a link in the description for that too on the side here we've also got a port for updating it not sure how though got a USB port so this is a 5 volt output where you can charge up USB devices if you have a battery plugged in here or into mains nice ventilation a cooling fan here and more ventilation over here and then our navigation buttons now to make this a little bit more interesting I've got two of these 11.1 volt 3 cell 5600 mAh batteries at storage capacity so I'm going to charge one up using the ISDT T6 Lite and I'm going to charge the other one up using the IMAX B6 Mini Hobby Grade Charger and see if it makes any difference or whether one charges quicker than another if you need to charge batteries with an XT30 connection you get these adapters that you can plug into the XT60 and XT30 on that side I'll put a link into the description for this too okay, so I'm going to plug the mains adapter in over here now and I'm going to plug one of these batteries in over here and plug the balance port in with the negative side nearest the bottom here Now we can see that the cell voltage appears first, so 3.83, 3.84 and 3.84. Go into the menu by pressing in the middle here. Tells you the battery type, the cell voltage 4.2 volts, cell count 3S, current 10 amps, task, charge and start. So basically because these are 11.1 volts, 5600 mAh batteries we need to set the amperage that we wanted to charge at so we select current we can go to a maximum of 25 amps and as low as 0.1 amp okay so because this is a 5600 mAh battery I'm going to charge at 5.6 which is the safest charge for it but not the best if you want to prolong battery life I would then even halve that and go for about 2.6 amps to charge but because we're going to do this test with both I'm going to set it to 5.6 Press in the middle, move down here and I'll just press this when we're ready to start.
let's put this one here I'm going to bring the hobby grade B6 now plug it in here Click start and I'm also going to set this to 5.6 amps and it's a three cell battery to so put it up to three cell and I'm going to press here when we're ready to start. So all ready to go I'm going to start this one first. So it started quietly. And I'm going to start this one after 15 seconds. Start this one after 30 seconds. So that's it going. So I'll just remember that I started this one 30 seconds later. So what we can... So now they're both charging at 2.6 amps, which we can see on the screen. This one's sitting at 11.7 volts, this one at 11.66 volts. Showing the time that it started, although we have been going an extra minute. Now the fan on this one is kicked in already to help it stay cool while charging. And this one's fan has not kicked in yet, cooling it for charging. So now let's just see how long it's going to take to charge these batteries up. Okay, so the B6 Mini said it took a time of 51 minutes. Let's stop it there. And we started a little bit later. And this one says it took a time of 38 minutes. So about 20 minutes quicker. This performed a lot quieter than the B6 Mini 2, so it seems to have good cooling and doesn't overheat. Now if we have a look at the status of the battery now, we can see it's 12.6 volts and the three cells are 4.2 volts. If we go into the menu, so if we go to battery type can charge Li, HP, LiPo, Lithium Ion, Life, PB, NiMH, or Ni and NiCAD. Out of there, cells voltage. We'll give you the cells voltages. Cell counts. Now this only charges from 2S, so I'm surprised to see 1S on the menu here. But it goes from 1S to 6S. Currents have been through already. Charges from 0.1 up to 25. We go to task, you can charge, or you can discharge, or you can go set it to take it to storage capacity. And then to start and stop, we go just go here on the bottom. So you go start. If you want to stop, you just press it again and press stop. It's a very nice portable charger. Good to use at home and indoors too. Nice to be able to charge batteries using another battery if you're in the field. It charges quicker and faster than the Sky Mini. Doesn't overheat, so has good ventilation. And if the backhoe technology does become more popular and we get more backhoe batteries, 
will be able to see a lot more battery information with this. This ISDT T6 light also has reverse polarity protection and an anti-spark function for increased safety. I find the navigation quite easy and simple with this, which is good. It's quite quiet when it charges. So nice, smart, balanced charger for two to six cell batteries.